Hi, Alice Bull here from scrapbookwonderland.com and the Scrap Happy membership group. And I'm really excited because today I'm going to create a layout based on a prompt that we're using for Load 517 Legends of Hollywood. And Load is the Layout a Day Challenge. Every day, myself and lots of other people are scrapbooking daily with prompts based on great movies from the silver screen. And today, the prompt is based on one of my personal favorite movies, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And this is the movie from 1971. In this film, Charlie is a poor boy and he lives at home with his mother and two grandfathers and two grandmothers. And he desperately wants to win one of the golden tickets that would allow him to visit Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. And amazingly enough, this actually comes true for Charlie, and he gets to visit the chocolate factory. As he and the other winners walk into the main candy-filled chocolate fountain, chocolate river area, they walk into this space in awe and wonder. And it's a magical moment in the film. And I'm so excited because um, the look on the actors faces is actually true so they weren't allowed to see that set before filming of that moment so as they walk in and they're looking around in amazement that's truly their real reaction and i love that so much that they did that and were able to capture that on screen and it really comes across and it's a really strong moment in the show so today for our prompt we're going to capture awe and wonder in our own lives. What moment in your life left you in awe and wonder? Where do you find awe and wonder in your daily life? It may be a big moment or it may be a small, seemingly inconsequential moment that just leaves you with that little bit of awe and wonder every day. No matter what it is, today's your day to tell your story. And I'm going to show you how I'm capturing that moment from my life. So I start my layout with a piece of super stock from Creative Scrapbooker magazine. They have this ultra heavy weight paper so that it can hold up to using some different kind of media a little bit better. And then I decide I'm going to stick some gesso on it. And the gesso that I had must have been a little bit old and dried out because it was so thick and I was really unhappy with it. So you just saw me wet a paper towel and I kind of wiped the gesso down a little bit. So I'm using these Vicky Booten paints that I just picked up. The mint color is called Daiquiri Ice. And then the green is called Watermelon Burst. And the blue is called Saltwater Taffy. And then the purple is called Plum Pudding. They're super cute little uh, paint kits. Um, acrylic paint from Vicky Booten. It's kind of one of the new things. She just released it at Creativation CHA in 2017 here in January. Once I have the base coat kind of mixed and blended as much as I'm happy, to the point where I'm happy with it anyways, then I set the paints aside and I pop off to go and clean my brushes before they're ruined because I'm too cheap to buy new ones. Next, I pull out the pictures. I printed these on my Canon selfie. I use iPhoto to actually customize the sizes for those small prints. Um, I know iPhoto is the old Apple photo program and most people have moved to photos, but I don't find it lets me have as much creative control in the sizing of my prints. So I still like to use iPhoto and my son knows I'm resistant to change when it comes to technology. So I'm just matting these on some black paper so that they'll kind of pop off that colorful background a lot. Apparently, it took me a long time to mat photos today. <laughs> Once I have them all matted, I'll start the next step of starting to create my title. I decided I wanted to go with the title Awe and Wonder, kind of to go with the whole prompt and the theme for the day. And I think that these Amy Tangerine words are super cute and I have the matching kind of alphabet to go with them. So I thought, okay, I'll pull out the word awe in the alpha and then I have the word wonder. 
So here you can see I've kind of figured out the configuration I'm going to put the photos down in and you know it's not often that I make a page that has five photos on it so you know I thought that I came up with a creative solution there for the photos and I decided that this background definitely needs a little bit of gold color shine from Heidi Swap so I've applied a little bit of that. Um, later on I found that on top of the paint the color shine didn't like to dry. The stuff that landed on the background paper where there was no gesso dried like super fast and the rest of it seemed to take forever. So I actually went and I took a heat tool to it later. But you'll see me check on it again. Now that I have a basic design for the layout I like to kind of see how the rest of the elements are going to fit together. And if a little bit of gold color shine is good, then a little bit of white color shine added to it is even better, right? <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here, adding a little bit of white color shine to add those little pops of brightness. And then of course I go back to the layout design and kind of see how that's all going to fit together. I decided that because the photos were um, taken in celebration of my birthday, we actually went to Disney World and Universal Studios in Florida for my birthday and I was going to have butterbeer on my birthday. It ended up being a couple days after my birthday because they ended up having a hurricane down there at the time. So the plane was delayed I think five times which was kind of nuts but in the end we went and it was a fabulous time. So now I've pulled out these little gold letters and I've decided I'm going to add the word magic and with the word magic, then I start looking at all the other embellishment options that you know might be awesome for this page. So I've pulled a whole bunch of different selections and of course I keep going back to the happy birthday. I did three coats of paint on it. It was kind of a chipboard, a really thick chipboard. So I wanted it to be well covered. I should have done a base coat, but of course I didn't. And so then I had three coats of color. Um, yeah, I kept going back to my title and I've discovered that I really didn't like those letters for the word awe, so I've decided that I was going to pull out some older letters. They're actually like a clear acrylic, but they have printing on them. Great news is they've been in my stash for a while and I finally pulled them out to use them, so that's pretty awesome. And when I laid down the happy birthday, I put it a little bit higher than I think I had originally planned to. So then there was kind of this odd gap underneath it, but I just figured I'd fill it in with some embellishments. And instead of using the ampersand, I went with some little tiny letters to put the word and in between the awe and wonder. And I looked at those bows and said, no, they're not going on here, but I kind of liked those hearts. So I stuck some of them down and then I didn't like how I stuck them down, so then I pulled them back up and then I stuck them back down in a different way. So here they're going down and then they're coming off. <laughs> and that just happens in scrapbooking sometimes. Now I'm going to put this little location tag down on here and it's actually from a Gossamer Blue kit. It's uh, a really thick acrylic and then there's a cute little heart piece that fits right in the middle. So I thought, you know, I'll keep with this heart theme on this page in a few different places because there's a heart in the little pin and then I've got those little blue hearts on there and I've used them in a few other places which you'll see in a second. So I'm sticking the little gold letters on next that say magic and then the more that I look at those I decide that it should say something other than just magic. So in keeping with my theme about butterbeer and how much I enjoyed it and the candy at, at the world of Harry Potter, I decided to say magic in my mouth. And I thought that was just the perfect little saying to stick in that spot. While I was there, I enjoyed my butterbeer that I was really looking forward to. And I also had a frozen butterbeer, which I thought was even better than the original. And then I had some butterbeer ice cream. So I tried to get my fill of butterbeer. And if I could be back to have some more tomorrow, I would totally be there. It truly was like magic in your mouth. <laughs> Okay, so now that the letters are almost done, I've just got a few little embellishment things to go onto the page and then I will add the journaling. And it's funny because I had originally intended to add the journaling to the bottom of the page, but I don't think it would have showed up very well on that darker purple. 
And when I had looked, I was going to add embellishments under the word wonder over on the right hand side, but I didn't like the embellishments there and I didn't like the words at the bottom. So in the end, I decided that I was going to write my journaling underneath the word wonder and that turned out perfect. So happy accidents. Okay, so now I'm ready to add the last of the embellishments. I have these cool acrylic um, chevron pieces and I look at the picture with me that I'm trying to point to right there and I'm holding the frozen butter beer and I'm holding an ice cream butter beer and you know I'm really wanting to emphasize that but instead I decide that I'm going to point the arrows over towards um, the other picture which has the little butter beer trailer in the background like the little booth where you can buy it from so I thought that was a good compromise instead and I liked them pointing that way way more than the way they looked when they were pointing up which just seemed awkward so now I'm adding some more of those hearts underneath the happy birthday word and those are kind of the lighter version of the hearts that are on the sheet and at the top I kind of use the darker shade of the blue offset on the opposite colors kind of thing. If you see there the kind of I have like the dark blue hearts on the mint background and then I have the minty colored hearts on the blue background. And then I have these little purple hearts that I'm going to just layer at the bottom of those two stacked photos. And I was kind of impressed that I actually had some purple hearts to use as an embellishment because um, purple tends to be the neglected color when it comes to scrapbooking. So I'm really happy with the way that looks and I go and I sketch out my journaling on a piece of paper before I add the final journaling to the layout. And I didn't include video of that, but I'll include final photos for you. So here's the final layout inspired by Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory from 1971. I love that it was a moment of awe and wonder that inspired me to create this page, and yet it still ended up being about candy, which is like this huge theme in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The journaling reads, I wanted butter beer for my birthday. I sampled butter beer, frozen butter beer, and even butter beer ice cream. Of course, a trip to Honey Dukes was necessary for chocolate frogs and Bertie Bott's every flavor beans. The magical world of Harry Potter left me in awe and wonder. If you like the idea of scrapbooking based on prompts, then I think you'd really love a layout a day challenge. For more information, you can go to scraphappy.org slash load. And I hope you'll pop over to scrapbookwonderland.com to check out what's new on the blog. Happy scrapping!